Oh boy, man, waking up to some brand new Xbox news. I wanna say it's staggering to the least, but ultimately it gives me a good foresight of what I believe that Microsoft is doing in the future. Because listen, I'm one of those people, I like the advancements of technology like the anyone else, especially for Microsoft as a brand in general. So for a little context, I've been following Microsoft since the beginning. I've been following gaming since the beginning. If you guys don't know me, how you doing? If you do know me, what's up, man? We got some new stuff coming and hopefully we can get that 2K sub goal or anything in the future. Now, what I want to talk about today is this Phil Spencer stuff about Xbox exclusivity. There may be some validity in what he's saying that the console market in video games is dying or specifically for Xbox. And ultimately, guys, if you're playing on one platform in this day and age, it seems like to me you're 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 into that brand loyalty thing. You're into that idea that oh, this is the best place to play games. Ultimately, there's nowhere every platform has their bad shortcomings. Every single one. Nintendo has their IPs, but their online is terrible. PlayStation has their single player IPs, but their multiplayer is terrible. Xbox has games. So I can say Xbox has games, you know what I'm saying? They got the multiplayer unlock, they got single player and certain increments and they have other things now after the abk deal i've said microsoft's gonna be a new beast and we're seeing the tail beginnings of xbox being a new beast and platform so there's an interview that's going around right now about phil spencer and on polygon that's what we got to check out because this is some uh staggering news say the least Money, 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 money Good, a good snip is because xbox exclusivity is pretty much non-existent at this point and i'm okay with that because i play xbox pc and nintendo so it's gonna piss a lot of people off it's gonna be a lot of tim dogs and peter ovo's on here and some other xbox faithfuls honestly to begin with before i read this i knew where xbox is heading for a long run because going from the 360 to the xbox one that was a big mess up i'm telling you guys you guys probably wouldn't into the industry like that but that pissed a lot of people off people i'm telling you that was one of the great mistakes that mike has ever done ever done you know that ooh, that killed them either way let's go on this this is some certain choice notes that i've read over a little bit and we'll see what they actually have to say because this is not i don't know man. i want to say i'm confused but i'm trying to get my words construed right because there's certain things that you can see here that's easy to understand and certain things like huh like what are you doing so uh, let's check this out it's a little bit both said spencer but i'll say this that has been the most concern for the industry is the lack of growth when they when microsoft was talking about the lack of growth there's literally a specific number that's in mind xbox with the subscriber growth playstation with the console growth that's their business models and that's the way they want to do there's only a specific number that you can hit without selling hardware Microsoft is not right now selling hardware. They're down at 40 something percent. I think it's 47 or 42, it's in the 40s. That's bad. You're not gonna sell consoles in Europe, regardless of what you do. It's done, it's over. That's been online like that since the PS4. That's not your market. You're slowly, you can keep stuff over there to make some money back, but ultimately for me, you're done. You gotta have something else. That's where the apps and stuff come in. Let's carry on. And when you both have an industry that is projected to be smaller than next year in terms of players and dollars. Again, this is on Microsoft's point of view. I don't know about Sony, cause Sony been cooking. You know, Sony's been getting them bucks, you know what I'm saying? They been getting their money. So industry investors to grow because they, does somebody even share some stock in not going to grow? Listen, that right there, Xbox is in a hard time right now, people. They're in a, a specific hard time. Do I blame them? No, it's your own fault, technically. Keep it a buck, it's your own fault, Microsoft. But strictly speaking, this is another point I wanna talk about, that the notion of Xbox only being on this device that plugs into your television isn't something we see in the Gen Z research. Microsoft is trying to go for the newcomers instead of the old generation that put Xbox on the map. I understand why they want to do this, and I also understand why older folks don't like it. Listen, in this day and age, gaming is moving towards an area where not a lot of people are gonna like. Okay, I think I can cut it off right here. 
now meaning people this is what i want to talk to you guys about truly xbox now is looking to grasp the new gamers and not the old gamers the old guard like us down in the old days 360 days we're gone we don't we don't care about that as a currently right now xbox as a brand this brand pivot this is technically sarah bond's xbox right now it's not phil spencer's people saying they're damaging it hey man i'll say this to you guys one time one time only if you guys truly cared about gaming you would have supported xbox you see what i'm saying you would have supported xbox back in the day but you didn't so this is where we are you can't complain and be mad at xbox of what the industry wants it wants playstation games on top it wants nintendo games doing their own thing on the side they want pc master race and they want subscribers that's the way tech has been going that's where the money is and oh you guys want to use that excuse saying hey you guys got that microsoft money get that microsoft dough you got that microsoft cheddar you got that microsoft bread i understand that we all understand that xbox would have been done for if they didn't have big daddy microsoft but we're not in that situation though so i don't i don't i don't like using that you know what i mean either way that's what i was talking about the industry from xbox wants to get the newer folks as time goes by they know subscription models for real they know subscription models is kicking in they know apps is kicking in they want to get that money they want to get this mobile dollar money that's why they got the abk deal activision blizzard king that is what they want to do and before you guys say anything i don't like this shit i always hate subscriptions fuck it that's not my thing i hate that shit with a passion you guys don't want me to rant no more i'm, I'm, I'm hey i'm tired of the ranters videos but it is what it is i hate that shit but that's where the future is if game pass comes out and it has the stuff i like i'm gonna support it even though i hate that shit because tech y'all y'all gotta realize something if xbox goes under oh boy it's gonna be a whole nother thing coming you guys don't know this man playstation could change because you know they're spending so much money you know cost is gonna it's, it's gonna be costly stuff's gonna change nintendo do the only thing there I, I can't i can't just find nintendo the draconian with their stuff and ips i don't i don't mm -mm. i like nintendo but I, I can't support them on some things either way the things with microsoft right now this is what i believe microsoft is doing i made a post about it on twitter some of you guys saw some of you didn't i'm not that popular but there's another post that said okay if xbox is gonna get rid of exclusivity deals because the higher ups don't like exclusivity what is microsoft going to become and, and i think i have the answer for you microsoft if these rumors are true if they get steam epic game store ubisoft plus all these other apps and stuff xbox can finally become the entertainment box that they wanted to in the future and then some you can take the 2013 xbox one to the series x with the games and to the future games and all these new platforms you can actually do something worthwhile xbox could become a launcher if xbox becomes a launcher you got everything lined up complete perfectly that is what i think they're going to do it's not a game pass machine it's literally a complete game machine but one thing though also when you guys point out if they get steam on xbox in some kind of form and fashion i doubt it but if they do if they get steam on xbox there's also the parity issue you can develop for this you can play your steam account on xbox if you have a steam account and you don't have a good pc you buy an xbox for like 500 some dollars you get an affordable pc xbox series x could become a literal gaming hub honestly technological wise that sounds brilliant but for xbox brand wise it's pretty much non-existent because xbox the brand is sacrificing your identity to become something of exclusivity hey that was kind of cheesy i know comes something that's exclusivity being in of their own they finally carve their own path to become the ultimate mini pc that's what it is at this point xbox can become a mini pc for a good affordable price that's not a pc honestly 
with the hardware and stuff that's in there, that is not a bad deal. Tech wise, brand wise, horrible. Xbox, A. Hey, like I said, I give things time. I give you guys time. If this is true, I'm okay with the brand pivot. Because listen, I'm part of the old guard. I'm literally part of the old Xbox guard, old game guard, old PlayStation guard, old Nintendo guard, old PC guard. My time is over. We don't get to say so like we used to, because that's not where the money is. Honestly, it's not, you know? I can complain on Twitter all I want, but you guys know there's only so much you can say when you see the writing on the wall with the company. You saw the writing on the wall with Xbox a long time ago. And this, these posts is specifically what they're doing. Hey man, I can support you as much as I can at some point, but I need to see where this goes on paper. And based on rumors, this sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty sick. And we're not even talking about the handheld. You've come up with the handheld compatibility with the Xbox, the new technological advancement that they said it's gonna do. That sounds pretty good. You know, get that vein in there and Xbox, you can pretty much delve your foot into everything you can survive. But the high power gaming market and stuff, that's done, that's over. These PS5 uh, Pro specs and PS6 specs, they got you, son. Xbox probably could, just think, you'll probably have them the same way. If Xbox could make one final console, that's a high powered console docked and a handheld, that's an Xbox Series S handheld or something, PS4 handheld. If they can do that, that's the final console they need to make. Final, you can knock out everything, all your games, that's what you can do. You can knock out everything and just survive. But hey, I'm just doing this based on speculation on posts and everything. I want to see where this is going in the future, man. This is probably part one of this kind of video. I'm going to have a part two in the near future. Because, hey, I support you, Xbox. But you're looking kind of shady right now. You're looking kind of shady. It is what it is, man. But that's just business. All right, y'all. Like, share, subscribe, peace, and for some more gaming content.